Doug, right now organizers are asking for help with clothing, shoes, monetary donations, and even disposable phones. Migrants are typically here for just a few days before they are put on a bus or plane to be with a sponsor. Just days after a group of nearly 300 migrants arrived in Albuquerque from El Paso, city leaders announced that more are coming. Regardless of how you feel about the issues happening in D.C., about how this system works, they are now here legally and we need to uphold our end of the American dream. The migrants will stay at local hotels. All of the accommodations and necessities for them will come from donations, nonprofits, and local charities. If we get uh, an amount that is higher than we can house in hotels, or if we don't have enough money to house in hotels, that's when we might have a situation where we would set up a sort of shelter situation. When the migrants leave Albuquerque, they will then be taken to different cities across the country to join a sponsor. There may be a sponsor who helps someone get bond, where they say, you know, I'll be responsible for this person. They're connected with me. They're connected with this church. Um, we'll sponsor them. We'll make sure that they show up at their court. Sponsors for migrants are usually a family member or friend already in the U.S. The only requirement to sponsor a migrant. You do have to give an address. And if you don't know someone in the country. You might want to try to connect with even certain nonprofits, might help connect you with someone. While it's just a temporary pass through Albuquerque, it's one step closer to their dream. These folks, they're not stopping in like Mexico or other countries because of the American dream. That's why they're here and this is where they want to stay. If you'd like to help these migrants, you can do that by donating your time, money, gift cards, or gently used clothing. For more information on that, you can visit our website at KOAT.com. Marissa Armas, KOAT Action 7 News.